everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on candles that I have used. Um, I want to give you guys kind of my input on what I think about the candle, um, how well the burn was, how I like the scent of it, um, and just its overall performance I guess. Um, I did I think one or two of these videos before and I got a really really good um, well I got really really good feedback from you guys so I thought I would do another one so basically what I've been doing is I've been saving my candles um, for videos just like this so let me just move the camera a little bit and let's get started um, the first one does not have a label on it this is actually a Glade candle um, I'm gonna be saving the glass because um, I can actually put this on a hot plate and use this for uh, melting wax in it on the hot plate and melting um, um, you know scent shots and stuff like that but anyway this candle was the cotton candy candle by Glade it came out in there um, I believe circus kind of fair line uh, there was a blue one a yellow one and then the pink one and I burned the pink one um, I actually put this in my room as a buffer candle. Buffer candles to me are basically, um, I use a regular candle or a regular scent shot type thing as my main focus. And then this um, is a candle that I would like put with it to kind of buffer it up to kind of, you know, make the scents um, combine a little bit stronger. But anyway, this burned pretty well. Um, there's a few, you know, cloudiness on the glass jar, not a big deal. Um, the smell of it though really was not to me cotton candy. It was more of a berry note mixed with sugar. So I guess that's what cotton candy is, but um, yeah, I didn't really get a good cotton candy scent with this. Overall, I would not purchase it again. The burn was really good. I didn't have to trim the wick or anything. And I really like the shape though of these glass jars. I think they're really cute. So um, I'm gonna be saving that. And the next one is one that I just got done burning. This is Market Peach by Bath & Body Works. And as you can see already, the top of the jar is black. Um, that is because of their new wicks that they have. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but the candles just do that. But with this one, um, the peach was really there and really strong. I'll just read you the description real quick on the bottom. It says, Fresh from the stand, peaches strike a juicy note in a blend of vanilla featuring hints of citrus and raspberry. Didn't get any citrus, didn't get any raspberry. Well, the citrusy, I guess, came through with the peaches. But this was like straight up, like straight up summer juicy peach, um, freshly picked. So this one is really, really good. Um, as you can see, the black soot there. Um, I did, you know, not trim the wick on this. Probably should have uh, because of all that soot. But I really like the label on this. I like the smell of everything. I, I would purchase this candle again for sure. Um, let's see. Next, I have a Bath & Body Works candle. And this is Palm Beach Cooler. As you guys can see, this one burned a lot better than the Market Peach. Um, this one, you know, a lot of people say that this one kind of smelled just like wax. Um, I kind of have to agree. It did kind of smell, it had that, you know, plain kind of waxy scent to it along with sugar. So that's basically all I got from it. I didn't get any mixed drink or anything like that. Let me just read the description. It says, Ready for a cocktail fun shine? This blend of bright berry, sugared grapefruit, and fresh coconut is a is perfect for a day of serious lounging. I didn't get any of that. I didn't get the coconut, I didn't get the grapefruit, and I didn't get the berries. All I got was wax and a slight sweet kind of, not really a sugary note, just basically like a sweet note. Um, and I can still kind of pick that up now. Maybe a little bit of grapefruit, but nothing to make um, it smell for me throughout the house. Definitely not even the room. I could barely smell it, but it's pretty. The label's cute. The wax is green and it's pretty. So I would not purchase this one again either. Um, next thing that I have is a Yankee candle. This is a two wick pillar world journeys Canary Island banana and um, I did a review on this candle. I really loved this candle a lot. I don't know if you guys can make out the label there 
with it being see-through. I got this at Home Goods for $10. Um, there's a tiny little bit of soot on the sides, not a big deal at all, and straight up banana scent. I mean, if you guys are looking for a banana type candle, go and get you one of these because it is amazing. Love the label. Um, the, the color of the wax isn't too appealing right now, but it was like a really, really bright banana orange. And I really love this candle a lot. And I would definitely repurchase this if I could find it, but I can't find it. They're completely gone. Um, let's see. Next I have a village candle and this is in fresh strawberries. I have done so many reviews on this candle. I really love this one a lot. This is one that I actually got from village candle as opposed to going to home goods and getting it. But oh, it smells just like a juicy strawberry that's been sitting out in the sun, freshly picked that deep, deep, deep color red. Um, just beautiful and it looks just like or it smells just like the label looks really really juicy really really red really ripe beautiful um, I had a tiny little bit of soot I wouldn't dare trim the wicks on this candle because the wicks are very very puny um, village candle is kind of known for that to have their puny wicks but if you see there's really no wax on the side, so it did, you know, eventually pick up and burn and things. Um, would I buy this candle again? Not right now. I would wait for next spring, and I would purchase this one again. Um, but for me, this is kind of like a seasonal burn. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would repurchase it again, I guess. Um, the next two candles I have are from Bath and Body Works. These, both of these candles that I'm going to be showing you were almost returns. Um, I bought these candles at my outlet and let me just get into the first one. This is Lemon Mint Leaf and the description reads an organic cultivation of bright lemon balm and fresh, farm fresh green spearmint. I love this candle. I love the way it smells. I love the way it makes my room smell. It is gorgeous. Okay, so why do I say that I almost took this candle back? Well, the wicks, um, basically I lit the candle and nothing, you know, happened. I had three little puddles um, within a matter of an hour of burning the candle. It should have completely formed a nice even wax pool. It didn't at all. I was freaking out thinking, oh no, please don't let this happen to me because I love the scent of this candle. Um, but basically I gave it a second and a third shot and I thought, okay, on the third shot, if, you know, we don't get a good wax pool, then mama's taking this one back. Well, I didn't have to take it back because it was a miracle. It came together like crazy. And I got a nice even wax pool. You can kind of see um, some of the rings on there. Um, but other than that, everything was super good. The smell is so strong. You get the lemon and you get the mint. You get the spearmint. Oh, and even like after burning, I can still smell it and it smells so good. So would I repurchase the, this one again? Not an old version. I would repurchase a new version just because of the wicks and they were so funky. And then the next one that I almost took back was White Sand. And I have like a ton of white sand and this is my favorite scent of all time from Bath and Body Works for the summer. It says like the first long days of summer at the beach, sparkling grapefruit and sandalwood with coconut milk and summer jasmine. I don't smell any of these things in this candle, but I will tell you what I do smell. I smell going to Lake Michigan, putting your feet in the sand, sitting down, smelling the breeze, looking at the lake and it's very crystally, like very clean, like you know you guys think a lakes is like gross. No, very, very clean and sparkly and the scent just brings me back um, to childhood memories. I love the label. It says everything about the candle that you would think it is. Just beautiful. First burn, horrible. First burn, I did not get an even wax pool. Second burn, it started happening and I thought, shoot, I'm gonna have to take this sucker back. Third burn, it came all together and it was perfect. Um, as you can see, there are a few, you know, spills along the sides, not a big deal, but it was a really good candle um, for the smell wise. Performance, it sucked ass. Um, 
Let's see. The next one that I have is a Yankee Candle. I just finished this. This is Candy Slices. This one was really good, but I had a lot of rings on the sides. It just smells basically like candied fruit, um, kind of like what the picture entails. And this was a swirl jar, so half of the candle was um, one cent, half was the other. I'm sorry, I don't have the description in front of me, so I can't really tell you guys. But yeah, I had rings on the bottom and then the flame just kind of went down and everything extinguished itself. So, and it smells pretty raunchy right now. So, um, usually what I might do is I might take this and put this on a candle burner just to kind of get all that scent out, uh, before I dispose of it, but it's just not worth it. Um, would I repurchase this candle again? No, it just kind of smelled sugary and sweet. Um, not really berry or fruit or anything like that. It was just, you know, it was like, okay. It was more pretty than anything. Um, and next, this is the last candle that I have. This is by Scarlet Rain. And this is the black raspberry and vanilla. This is 100% soy. Um, and this is one of her smaller size candles. Um, she sent this to me to review a long time ago. And I finally got around to it. And... Um, I had to babysit the bitch out of this candle, but it was so pretty when I got it. So basically what it looked like, you guys could probably go down and look at one of my other videos um, where I featured this candle, but um, the purple wax was probably like halfway up, up to here, and then she had this gorgeous white piping that looked like Cool Whip and frosting and everything goodness all piled up on top, and it came like probably up to here on the candle and then she stuck in um like black raspberries on the side and it was so pretty so the first like half an hour like I said I had to babysit the bitch out of this candle because um we didn't want any overpour so I did put a plate underneath it and it smelled absolutely amazing I remarkably had no overpour at all everything stayed within the container I lit it for like 15 minutes blew it out babysat it lit it again for 15 minutes blew it out and then it was pretty much even so then I could light it um the only problem with this candle you guys see a lot of soot that was even with me trimming the, the wicks every single time I lit it except for the first light the reason why there's so much soot is because these wicks formed these huge mushroom tops and I'm talking about gigantic like the biggest ones I've ever seen and I know where your head is because my head is always there when I say mushroom tops I think of something else and don't you dare so anyway okay let's start over so anyway I had to trim the bitch out of this and um the wicks just were the wrong wicks um so hopefully if Scarlet Rain is watching, you're going to have to get different wicks for your candles. But other than that, it was beautiful. It was beautiful to start out with. It was beautiful burning. Um, I put some pictures on my Instagram. So if you guys don't belong to my Instagram, go check it out. It's AZ, the number four, and then Angela. Um, it's private, So, but I'll accept you. Just you know, put in a request. Um, would I repurchase this candle again? Not like this. I would repurchase it if she redid the wicks for sure. She has this size and I think she has one bigger size. Um, but I'm not real sure. I haven't really checked out her website lately, but, um, yeah. So that is pretty much my candle review. Um, if you guys have had any of these candles, please give me your input. Let me know, you know, how everything burned, how you guys like these candles, um, how everything smelled for you. And I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.